Hello. Today I'll briefly talk about another important uh, but often misunderstood postcolonial concept, which is deracinate or the act of deracination. The term literally means to pluck out, to pull the roots of something out. So to deracinate literally would mean when you pull out the roots of a plant, right? Or either transplant it or throw it somewhere else. But within colonial history, deracination then gains a metaphoric and political meaning. And it's mostly applied to uh, the slave trade. And what it means there is that when the native people of Africa are pulled out of the cultural context of their own identity and their own social norms, they are literally plucked out of that culture and transported to a new culture. That act is deracination. And what happens in that process is that these people who are forcefully removed from their own culture, from their own place on the planet and brought through slavery to a new location, they in the process also lose the contextual contact to their own cultures, to their own histories, to their own meaning making processes. And their, their struggle thus uh, is becomes many fold, even after they gain their freedom, because they have no way of easily identifying with their past culture or knowing where they came from. And hence an act of deracination robs a people involuntarily, of course, of their roots and of their original cultural structures and meaning making, meaning -making processes. Uh, you can see the influence of it on the African-American population in the United States. If you look at the 70s, the cultural works that were being produced had a deep meaning behind it because there was a struggle to go and find the roots. People's curiosity sometimes artistically rendered in trying to find out where did they come from. So roots, Alex Haley's roots is a great example of that kind of narrative, which goes and locates where did this individual main character of the story come from. Another novel that really, really represents this idea of deracination well is a novel by my former colleague and friend Z. Agile. In her novel Time and the River, uh, there are two enslaved characters, both African. One is a slightly older man and one is a younger man, Bill and Sharper. And what Agile does in that novel is there is a moment where both of them are sitting by a fire and Sharper, I think, is the one who was captured as a slave, as a 12 year old. And he realizes as he sits there in the camp, looking at the fire, that he can no longer recall his own mother's face. So this is a novel literally showing us how even within one generation, in 10 or 12 years, a man who was captured from his original culture and brought to the Caribbean has trouble recalling where he came from, how his parents look like. And now if you multiply it over generations, then you know that any people, when they're plucked out of their own culture, enslaved and transported to a new place, uh, over a couple of generations would lose touch with their original culture. And that is a great loss because so many, of you, so many of us define our cultural and social identities in those historical terms, in terms of origins, where did we come from? What were our aesthetics? What did we like? What did we value? So a deracinated person then adopts or has to forcefully adopt the normative structures of the culture where they were forcefully transplanted. So overall, just to sum up, to deracinate means literally to pluck a plant out right, with its roots. And in cultural terms, in post-colonial theory, we use it to discuss any issues related to any people, but especially people of African origin who were literally 
captured, enslaved from their lands, pulled away from them, and then brought to Europe, or brought to United States or to the Caribbean as slaves. And it's that loss of original culture and a connection with it that is termed deracination. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel and I will come up with some other important topics for you in the near future. Until then, thank you so much and see you later.